that a scarecrow? A scarecrow gray. So today is September 3rd, so I think it's official. I can start getting out Halloween fall decorations. I don't really have that many. I just kind of buy a little bit every year, and then eventually I figure I'll have enough. But today I got out the scarecrow. Yeah, scarecrow. And Grayson is very interested. Scarecrow. I also have this little pumpkin that says happy fall. I've got these like mini pumpkins and a little fall wreath. And of course I got my fall candle out and then this little plate, I think it was my mom's that I kept. But yeah, I really don't have, where's the scarecrow? But yeah, I really don't have that many decorations. So I need to get some more. I want to get like, yeah, scarecrow. I want to get like some um, fall pillows for the couch and I would really like like a cute little sign to go up here above the uh, fridge but for now this is this will do is that a scarecrow oh <gasps> scarecrow he like doesn't know what to think and look great pumpkins look at these pumpkins yeah I never really know where to put those little pumpkins, so I just end up like putting them at random places around the house. It's not very decorative, but they were super cheap at Target last year. What I really need to do is I need to wait until the end of the season and then get the clearance, but I never do that. And then by the time things are on clearance, I'm already into like Christmas moon, and I'm like, I don't want to buy fall stuff, so that's the problem. But I do need to get a couple more fall things this year, but it's kind of hard to think of fall right now because even though it is September 3rd, it's supposed to be like a high of like 85, 86 today. So fall, summer is definitely not over even though it is September. But we made it back from our weekend trip to Toledo. It was a fun trip, but we're happy to be home. We already did story time this morning. I need to go to the grocery store because we're out of a ton of stuff. And I'm doing laundry because we are in desperate need of some clean clothes. So today's just kind of like getting back in the groove and things like that. Um, but Gray has decided that the pumpkin is gonna go for a ride in his car. Gray, that's not gonna work. You have nowhere to sit. Out. Here, Mama, take them. Oops. That works too. <laughs> you want to go out? <laughs> He's so demanding. We did our morning walk this morning down the sidewalk and Gray got about three fourths of the way down the street and then decided he didn't want to walk anymore and he made me carry him all the way back to the house. Yeah, we don't go in the street, ouch, ouch. Still teaching him to not go in the street. It's a work in progress. Airplane. A butterfly? Grayson, 
Grayson say, no, no, Felix, bad boy. So I got these pumpkins out and I put them all around the house and Grayson keeps finding them and taking them. His new trick, he points his finger and he goes, no, no, Felix, bad boy. Can you say bad boy? Say bad boy. His little finger pointed. No, no, Felix, no, no. I didn't find any good pillows, fall pillows for the couch at Meyer, so we're gonna have to make a target run. Yeah, no, no, Felix, bad boy. Yeah, he's gonna love having siblings because he loves it when I discipline Felix. He like gets a kick out of it and he's like, no, no. And he can say, bad boy. Say, bad boy. So I really like Nick Jr. and how they'll do these little nursery rhymes and they'll do it first in English and then they'll do it second in Spanish. I really like how they do that. It's just like for a minute or two in between shows and I just like that exposure to another language and a song that he like recognizes and knows. I really like good job Nick Jr. Disney Jr. does not do that but I like how Nick Jr. does and they haven't done that in the past so it must be new. Yeah, you like that? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Grayson, what's on your jammies? Oh, are you a skeleton? Do you have a spider on your jammies? Wow, are you ready for Halloween?